Hello there guys, it is Max of Diddly here, and today I'm here with another episode of SQL Made Diddly. And today we're in the first episode of a sub-series of our SQL Made Diddly series, where we're going to be going through different types of sub-queries. So what I said there was a really clever joke, because a sub-query is basically a query inside a query. And this sub-series is a series inside a series on my channel. So, um... If you found that amazing and clever, um, you're going to leave a like. If you didn't find that amazing or clever or didn't understand it or thought it was an awful joke, then you're also going to leave a like because I want some self-esteem boosting. Anyway, what is a subquery? Well, I just said it's a query within a query. We could also call it a nested query, but who calls it that? I prefer to call it queryception. And the subquery query can return an individual value or a list of records, just like with a normal query. And they must be enclosed with parentheses, also known as brackets. There are many different types of subqueries as there's no general syntax for them. But there are a few general ones you need to know for the exam. So today we're going to be doing the in subquery. So I have two tables here. We have ducks. You're all familiar with it. I put some extra data in there, by the way. We also have a table called Donald. And Donald has got a few goods. There's an order ID. There's a, a, a name of the good that the order has. And there's a call ID so we know who the order is for. And our boy Jeff has a call ID of 123456. And there are two goods with a call ID of 123456. What we want to do is basically print those values based on the call ID here. And I'm going to be showing you how you go about doing that. So firstly, we'll do select call order good. Because basically, we want to print out the goods. So we're going to select these values. And we'll do from Donald, as it's in the Donald table. Then we want to do aware call ID in select call ID. What are we basically doing here? We're basically saying, okay, if the call ID matches the call ID of Jeff, that's basically what we're saying. Then you want to do some sexy indentation, because why not? We want to do from ducks, where call ID equals one, two, three, four, five, six. And I put cold ID, it's going to be cold ID. So that's all the code, we're going to execute it, and we got the Black Destroyer and the Nintendo Switch. And as you can see, that's the case here. The Black Destroyer has a call ID of 123456, and the Nintendo Switch also has a call ID of 123456. If you don't know what the Black Destroyer is, I advise you go and search it up on YouTube yourself. So let's quickly explain what's actually going on here. So this should seem very familiar with when we did originally um, our select, when we have selected things before in SQL. However, this might seem really weird. This is our second query where we're selecting a call ID that is 123456. And then here we're basically checking, okay, is call ID equal to 123456? Now the reason why we're doing this type of setup is because in a real system you can't do that in our case, you could just use one query, but I want to just show you, you can do two queries. So this is a normal query. We select the call ID. We want to do it from the ducks table, and we want to select any call ID that is equal to Jeff's, which is 123456. And here, we want to select the call order good from the Donald table, and wherever call ID is equal to whatever a call ID returned from here is, which in this case is 123456. Hope this makes sense, guys. If it doesn't, leave a comment. I'll happily give you some assistance. I've done this with a few people. They all had a great time. But sure to leave a like in the comment, like I said before. And thanks for being a great audience. And I'll see you next time. Adios.